Oh, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to an Indiana Jones review, and this one's on the Venice Canal Chase from 2009, of course. So on the front of the instruction booklet, we have the Lego Indiana Jones logo, and that neat border that there was then, and set number 7197. And, of course, picture of everything in action, and also title of which movie it's from, of which Last Crusade. And on the back, I win on the online survey. And then advertisement of Lego Club. And then have for some of the other Indiana Jones sets from the time. And then add for the Indiana Jones Original Adventures video game that there was at the time, and all the consoles that it was on for, at the time. And then a large promotional poster of the sets together. Then picture of the set and all the features, and the pieces that come with the set, of course. Of which two pages, and then the last building steps. Onto the minutes included. So, first up, we have one exclusive variant of Indiana Jones himself, of which face, we're face printing, quite the same as in most of the other sets, and also, the variation of the gray suit, of course, and of course, holding a small pistol from the 90s Western sets, of course, and also, of course, the whip, as always. And, of course, with this, you get the, but also got the uh, hair piece that we've seen on, like, the classic Han Solo and Draco Malfoy, so, and many others. But, you, but there's also the option where you can swap it around with the fedora, of course. And also we get uh, Elsa Schneider, which face printing kind of the same as Mary Ravenwood and Willie Scott, of course, but and also the hairpiece, kind of the classic style hairpiece, but in blonde, nice to see there. And whereas for her torso printing, done quite good and still kind of holds up to today's standards and also, Billy's can be well workable with some other uh, female characters nowadays, but yeah. And next to which we get a Grail guard, and also a uh, Kazan. Yeah, Kazan. Which do have identical torso printings, things of which then, and of course, whereas the face printings, are, which are a little have different, are a little different on each one of them. Like, of course, that's the Grail Guard. This is Chasm's. Of course, Grail Guard with a goatee instead of just mustache, of course. There's any course. But whereas Grail Guard is, of which holding one of the gas pump guns, kind of like we had with Django Fett, of course, and also with uh, Chasm holding a Tommy gun, which you can definitely use with some. Or early gangster set, or mini figs if you'd want it. But, and of course, this which can definitely be workable on like uh, Captain Rex or Commander Cody in Star Wars. Well, if you choose so. And I guess also nowadays, also in some Avatar sets as well. Well, the same. But also, what these are most memorable for are the uh, Fez hat pieces that are workable in a lot of different sets nowadays. Well, at least props for to Lego for introducing these pieces at the time. And as for the uh, back sides of each thing, only Elsa, though, well, also only one with a double side face and back torso printing. And of course, same as Mary Ravenwood, of course. So, of course. So I guess that is about it with these minifigs. 
And now to the first part of the set, which are these little uh, guard piece, I mean, uh, guard post pieces, which as you can see, not so different than most ones that we get in like city sets and things. And so we get so it's just white and blue cylinder pieces and also a couple dish pieces on the bottom and also plain white mini fig heads on tops with a stud on it. Just quite simple but still well workable, but yeah. <clears throat> and so now on to, so now on to one of the builds. Probably, let's start with this one part, which is kind of a bridge way. To them. Which, as you can see, which is pretty much just an archway and a couple of docking positions. And of course enough room to fit the two boats underneath it. Oh, also I forgot to mention with the main fix, of course. Is this little map that leads us to stuff in that movie, of course. And so now, on to this part of it. Let me zoom in. So. Basically, just a couple archway pieces and a plate with a railing around it. And then this couple of stairs leads down to this little section, which is just bricks stacked on bricks and another little archway down below, and also a couple cylinders representing buoys. There's one side which has classic rat piece, or as or in Star Wars would call little womp rats, of course. And also what that dish piece here is, which is to like, for you to pop open and have a mini fig kind of peek right out of it if you want it. Well, unless you get them in the right positioning, of course. But aside from that, it is on there quite well, but it's kind of loose for that. Although I think, sh you know, unless if you like turn it or position it sideways and have it connect to some studs. Oh wait, it kind of doesn't. Unless if you just gotten a couple of extra pieces to put in there to keep it on, of course. Or just a couple of plates to hold it down, of course. And for the other side, which, which is just a few uh, uh, tan tiles, and also a little ladder side to it, and also leading to this little dock kind of area, kind of section. And underneath both of them are blue plates, of course. And of course, the main feature with this is that you press or tap, tap on that, and the dock goes flying. Let's do that one more time. Yeah, quite nice, fun feature that is. And of course, representing the whole chase bit in the movie, of course. And of course, so. although I think what would have been better is if one of these had studs on it to stand a figure onto. So we, of course, can be standing up there or, or with that, but whatever. But as for the back side, which both of which quite hollow ends to them. Well, this quite a lot of hollow space, but that was for a good reason for that. But although that red piece kind of sticks out a bit, but probably to point things out during the build process, of course. And that's about it with this uh, archway. And now onto one of the boats. Otherwise, Indy and Elsa's boat. And of course, this build is kind of similar to some boats that we get in Lego City, of course. But of course, but of course, with a few added things to give it extra features. So 
So like this front section, which of course comprises of one of those large uh, bottom part pieces there, or its lobes of course, and also a few plates above and a couple of studs on the front part, like a hood ornament, and then also do you get one of those car windshield pieces, but in clear, used as an actual windshield. And for this, and of course have a printed tile with a couple of gauges on it and a car steering wheel, of course. So, and also two seats on there. But downfall is when you sit too many things on into there, but they can't can't really fit right into there. But it, so what I would say is just modify it to about one stud apart for that. But anyways, but on the sides which have the uh, dark blue uh, uh, cylinder pieces, but used as like extra buoys, of course. And as for this back side, which just a few uh, studs and also an extra stud sticking out, or a cylinder sticking out, probably re using being representing a gas tank or something. And of course, ending out with a, a black flag piece. There. And well, for the main feature is press down on this, and then they blow right off. And of course, I have a little bit of engineering in there with the with a couple of cones and a round tile on there. And we'll have a couple of side uh, brackets with studs on them to be like an engine bit. And how you put all this back on is where you can just Try and slide this back in and get these two uh, tile plate assemblies and put them on there. And it's all there again. Thank you. And that is about it with that boat. And on to the other boat, which from first glance kind of similar to the one we just looked at, but only. But of course, one feature that's quite different for that. And also, I forgot to mention, both of which do have uh, blue rounded under tiles, of which representing water that they're on. Although, nowadays, I think could that clear could have worked out as well. But yeah. And so now, instead of like a red clear stud at the front, instead of a green clear stud, and then same kind of stuff going on, and also cylinder pieces in white instead of dark blue, and also uh, seats that are in white instead of black, and back plate in white, and also the flag bit or flag in red instead of black, of course. And now what's different with this one is that you see this extra brick that's sticking up. That, well, if you press on that, and the back part kind of bursts right off. Well, let me get a better view of that. So, kind of explains, which explains where all a lot of common exploring features of today's sets kind of came from. So at least, still, a still quite fun feature for that. So now, on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict is, I think this is which a quite fun, good set. Like, do you get like, an exclusive variant of Indiana Jones and three other exclusive minifigs like Elsa Schneider and whatnot, and of course also do get two boat, two neat boats that both have exploding features for that and playability. So playability quite good for how it is. Um, but aside from that, but it's also a good parts pack of like archway bricks and cylinders and things. And whereas price for piece of which, that for the thirty forty dollars that it was back in two thousand nine still quite fair for how it was although nowadays with like inflation and all probably put it at like fifty dollars or so 
but at least it's still kind of fairer. But it also but at least still, and again, still kind of nice that we do have an exclusive variant of Indy, of Indy himself, of course. But although it would be nice if there was an extra assembly with a uh, boat propeller on it, like in this whole sequence in the movie, of course. Well, maybe that would have been a little too much, but as is, still quite fair for that. And so now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some great memories of it. And for those of you who have it and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.